guys, welcome to the 30 paintings in 30 days project. So every day of this month, at least 30 days of this month, we are gonna create a little painting a day and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna experiment mostly with watercolor and gouache and um, let's get to painting and I will see you at the end. Hey guys, welcome to 30 paintings in 30 days and we are on painting study number 19. I can't believe we're there. All right, so we are going to turn our inspiration book here to another page that I find interesting, that I wanna work from today. And then we're gonna get started. So, you know, I love these sunset pictures, don't you? You know, something. there's something about this one where you just have a little peak of it in the blue sky and then that one, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I do think we wanna do sort of a sunset thing. So let's do that. So let's leave it here. I love sunset skies and I go on these tangents where, you know, for weeks, all I do are like sunset paintings. I know it's crazy. And you're all probably going another one. It's a great way to experiment and play with color though. And um, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna work right here in this square. I am going to, again, try to just utilize the paint that's on my little plate here before I clean it off. My water is disgustingly dirty. I'm going to um, just add a little bit of it. It's a little bit on the green side, but that's okay. I'm gonna add some water. And I'm gonna spread that pigment out in a sort of haphazard manner. And then I'm gonna give it a dry. Okay, I did wipe my palette off because that was nasty. And while that color works right here, it's, yeah, not good. So, okay, so we're gonna go in and I'm gonna take some of the Van Gogh Cerulean Blue, which is very well pigmented, and I'm just gonna grab the teeniest tiny bit of it, and I'm gonna mix it with some Cobalt Blue. And it'll sort of green up the Cobalt Blue and give me a nice happy medium. And I'm going to put some of that on here, and I'm sort of using the parts where that bluish green that was on the palette was darker than others to um, use that as where um, the parts I wanna make darker and the parts that are white or the lighter green color, I wanna, pres I wanna preserve them if I can and leave them lighter and sort of just follow with what naturally happened with the water as far as suggestions about where to put the shadow, okay? And then I'm going to grab some, uh, the Jaden Davenport Royal, which is a blue purple. And again, I'm just gonna add a little bit because that's a really purple purple. And you can always add more, but you can't take it back. Okay, that's good. And I'm gonna add a little bit of that to the paint here, a few spots. Purple is a great sort of shadow color. Ooh, I like where this is going. Okay, we're gonna give that a dry. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a teeny tiny brush because, oh, I'm gonna stay with the number four. Um, I'm gonna grab some of the Jane Davenport yellow color here that's called Buzzy. That's a very, very bright yellow. I'm gonna add a bunch of water to it and I'm so I can get a sort of a pale yellow wash. I'm gonna put this over some of the white parts, I'm gonna, there we go. I have my rag handy, so if I get too much of this yellow, I can just quickly dab it off. Now you can't always lift off watercolor paint. Some colors will stain right away and they'll stain heavily and they won't lift. Um, but it's always handy to have a rag, a Mr. Clean Ma Magic Eraser works. I have it handy. And you can at least try, and you may not be able to get, again, all the pigment off, but you may be able to get some of it off. Okay, so just like that. And then I'm going to take some of the orange. What is this, whole ball, whole bind permanent yellow orange. I'm gonna mix it with that yellow that was on here, and I'm gonna just, again, add some more water. I'm gonna put just a little bit, because again, I don't want a ton. 
You can always add more pigment, but you can't really take it back. I said that already in another video. I say it all the time with watercolor. You can't always take it back. And I'm just doing an abstracted sort of stormy sky, sunset sky thing inspired by what I see in the photos I took. Okay, then I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that orange but without watering it down. And I'm gonna put some of that on the page and then I'm gonna add some water. Okay. Then I'm gonna grab some pink And this is Jane Davenport's um, pink color called Best Friend. It's a really pretty pink color. And then I'm gonna, again, blend out some of those marks with some water. Got to kind of work quickly with these Jane Davenport paints because they dry fast, which is one of the reasons I didn't dry the paper. I want it to sort of blend a little bit. And there we go. I like the way that looks. Now let's give it a okay, dry. Okay, let's lift the tape, shall we? Now I do admit to you with this blue tape, it is a little bit distracting. Um, to get past the blue color of the tape when you're working on your paintings. Sometimes the blue um, sort of interferes with the colors I'm seeing, if that makes sense. Um, so if you find that, you're not alone. Look at that, that is cute. I like that one. So there we go, painting number 19. The speed fruit through version, sorry. Um, if you'd like to support the free content here on Facebook or in the, fa uh, here on Facebook, holy cow. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, I certainly would appreciate that. You can of course join Patreon. We do have YouTube membership here for a, a small fee. And, um, also I have an Etsy shop and I have, um, PayPal tip jar and all that stuff. So check out the video description. Relevant links will also be down there. And, uh, yeah, don't forget the most important things. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do share your work with me. I would love to see what you're doing. That's it for now. See you later. Bye, guys.